James Steinhubel on TVU Lloydminster News, and I've got Sarah Makins with me, owner and president and founder of Fame Dance Studios. Sarah, how are you doing? Good, thank you. How about yourself? Very well, very well. How are you guys doing? Good. Doing really, really well, actually. Um, we have nine different locations in Alberta and Saskatchewan, and just hearing the last two days of reports, putting in lots of calls in to make sure that we're doing everything right, and we've put announcements out to say what is permitted and what isn't, but the Lloyd students are really, really grateful that we can continue them dancing live just eight at a time. Eight at a time. And then so how, how do you have the uh, studio set up? Do you, do you mark the air, like do you mark social distancing or are they just, you, you know, okay. Yeah, so uh, since the fall, actually, we did do a really good season last year with Zoom for months. We had uh, almost 300 students do dance exams by Zoom. It was incredible, but so many were very, very glad to see their friends come back live. But we have made sure that masks are present. We don't enforce them, uh, but we do ask for everybody in dance classes to wear them as long as possible. Some have medical conditions, so you can't wear a mask while dancing just for a limited few. Most have been great. They dance with their mask on. Everybody in our waiting areas lobby has masks on. Everybody hand sanitizes regularly. And we have all of our dance studios squared off with masking tape so that everybody stays dancing just in their square. And we have everybody put their personal belongings in their own separate bin. Uh, we've also enhanced cleaning. So our cleaning person is doing it almost double to make sure that everybody stays safe. So yeah, it's actually gone really, really well. That's interesting. A couple questions. I have a personal question and then I have a business question. Yeah, for sure. Now in this, what kind, what's your, what's your dance? Where do you come from? What, like what's your training? My training was mostly in classical ballet. Uh, that's how I started, but then continued on also to study jazz, modern, tap, lyrical, hip hop, ballroom, uh, yeah. Classical piano, yeah, basically the fine arts and performing arts, you betcha. So then in your own uh, personal dance time, yes. like, has it changed during COVID? Are you, are you using, are you doing, are you doing something different or is it you've stuck with what you do personally? Like when you do, when you're just for yourself. Right. Thank you for asking. Um, so much of my world is about my students. It's very, it's very uh, nice to have a personal question, but I just love them to death. I want to make sure that everybody is organized <laughs> and doing their thing. So uh, I, that's kind of where my headspace is. Um, so what's the, what's the what's the last style when you walked into one of your studios and you turned the music on? What's the last style you personally danced? The last style I would dance at ballet, hundred yeah. percent. It is, yeah, it's the <laughs> dance to. in my humble opinion, absolutely. Now, business question. Sure. Did, did you have to pivot at all? Did you have, other than changing how you communicated through Zoom and stuff? That's almost a pivot. I guess it is a pivot. But did right. you add? Did you add any kind of other um, services or training, or did you merge with any companies to stay viable? We, we're our own ship, I guess. Uh, I've got such an amazing admin team that we all come up with different ideas, solutions, plans. Uh, and from having so many experiences with Zoom, now if a student was sick or couldn't make it in, we would Zoom them into the live class that was going on, something that we wouldn't have done before. Uh, we have a great communication system. Everybody uh, does things by votes. We talk to each other every day, all the time with students and parents and staff. So uh, basically, we have just added, uh, you know, online communication now as a support instead of a hindrance. So that's kind of cool. So now that we might have to, like some of our locations now, Bonneville and Cold Lake, have to return to Zoom. But the lovely, lovely item that is new this time is we can do live in-person one-on-one. So the kids are really excited about that because it's just so different doing everything out of your home. But yeah. also to be able to go in, even if it's a private lesson, is really exciting for them. That's fantastic. And anything on the go right now for new students? Are you encouraging people to sign up? What are you doing? Absolutely. So we are offering registration year round uh, for the first time ever. So because we're able to do digital classes, it means that somebody can start dancing at any time of the year. That is something that we didn't used to do. We would say, all right, we'll do a first term 
and a second term option or for upper level programs, professional programs, full year option. Now we offer drop in classes. So literally any time, any age, uh, any genre can say, I would like to do one lesson. I would like to do a stress class or a tech class. It can be in person. It can be uh, not in person. So there, there's much more flexibility there. And I like to find better things when we're faced with a challenge. I like to say, this has taught us something that we might not have explored before. Let's keep it now from now on. So that's actually been kind of fantastic. That's awesome. Sarah Makins, president, founder, owner. Fame Dance Studios here in Lloydminster. And how many other towns did you say, Sarah? We have nine locations nine all together. Locations. Yes, sir. Yes, awesome. It's so exciting. Thank you. Thank you. It's James Steinhubel with TVU Lloydminster News, and we've got Clinton Bruce with Diamond Auto Services. How are you doing today, Clinton? Pretty good. Excellent. So just giving you a, a call and an interview today, sir. Wanted to uh, see you know, how's business going for you guys? Very good. Yeah, we're doing all right. Excellent. And, and with the uh, all the transitions that we've gone over for the last year, have you guys participated in any of like the lease or the uh, job share or any of the other uh, programs that were offered? Uh, not too many of those, no. Okay. And uh, but the business volume over the over the last year has remained the same for you. It's been up and down. It's oh. it's okay. not the same as it used to be. Okay. Did you guys have to pivot in the sense? Did you have to add new services, or did you merge with other co- another company at all? No, we didn't. Okay, that's good. That's good. And and the uh, local the local support from uh, you know the people that live and drive cars closest to you have they been uh, have they been supporting you? Oh yes, yeah, been very good with that. That's good. And then uh, with the with the local levels of government, you know, so we got federal MPs, provincial MLAs, we got uh, city councilors. Anybody uh, reach out to you? Have they been around at all? No, haven't seen any. Okay. And then overall, though, the uh, the com- and the, the community and the, the business community, how you know what what are you hearing? As of from other business owners and the you know the other people that you, you associate associate yeah, with in the business community. You know, just, it's not there like it used to be. Everybody's kind of pinching their money, so okay. it's been it's quiet out there. Okay. Okay. And what do you uh, are you guys uh, anything that you're supporting this uh, holiday season coming up? Is there any uh, any charity or cause that you guys are getting behind? Uh, we do lots of hockey. Like we Doing lots of hockey. hockey yeah. Well, that's good. And that's ongoing right now. You guys back in hockey this year? Well, it is, but they just put it on hold again. Okay, but you guys are there, so yeah, uh, you bet. We do sponsoring. Awesome. And what are you doing in the shop to keep it exciting? Any specials or anything on the go? Uh, no, it's. It's come as you we do just about everything, so we could try to give a fair deal on everything. Excellent, excellent. And uh how do how do people how do people find you? Very good, yeah. No, and uh when they want to reach out to you, what's uh you know, what where do they go? They you're online, you got a phone number, online, how do they yeah, we got a website and lots of people with a phone. Oh, I see it right there. Diamond Auto Services Limited dot C A and yes. uh and you're at 306-825-0446. Yes. Awesome. We've had Clinton Bruce, owner of Diamond Auto Services. Thanks, sir. Okay, thank you. What's uh, what's your email there, Clinton? I want to send you a copy of it when I produce it. Diamond Auto at Shaw.ca. Okay, I'll send it when it's done. Thanks, sir. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Bye. It's James Steinhubel on TVU News Lloyd Minster with Sabian McDonald, owner of McHolmes Renovations. How you doing, Sabian? Good. Good, good. So you're uh, you're having to uh to work uh, outside of Lloyd right now to keep things going. How and how's that working for you? Good. Good, and you and you found work, but not that far away. You're only in Edmonton, right? Um, yes. Okay, so what what kind of what kind of work does uh, McHolmes Renovations do, uh, Sabian? Insulate, drywall, taping, repair job. Excellent, excellent. And texture so, ceilings. Texture ceilings, excellent, excellent. And so, um, when you're uh, when 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 people want to get a hold of you, what's the best way for them to get a hold of you, Sabian? Um, what's, your web, phone, what's your website? My phone. My phone. My phone. Seven eight zero two one four seven nine six three. Okay, and then you'll you do full renovations and everything. Yes. And they can get a hold of you. You'll come out and do a free estimate. Yes, and we do basement development as well too. 
Excellent, excellent. And you got you got full you got a full uh, group of trades that come along with you. Yes. So when, during COVID, Sabian, how did you guys do with government programs? Did you participate in any of them? Did you do any of the you know the grants or the work share or any of the CERB payments? Um, no. Um, right now, I'm just um, getting work from bigger companies. Okay. I work in like a sub trade. Okay. Excellent. And then, so what did you, what did you uh, did you find with the business volume, uh, Sabian? Did it was it up or down? Has it stayed the same? Like, I guess you got to go a little further away from home to get work, so you've you've had to go a little ways, right? Yeah, which is, um, I mean, it's not it's not so good. It's not the greatest, but you know. Yeah, got to. Uh, got to do something, right? You got to do better something. than nothing. That's right. Get out and uh, get out and make and make it work. So any anything anything special on the go for the holidays? You got any deals that pe- you can offer people or anything or what what's going on? If they phone um, up, you got any specials or anything? Just phone me up and I'll quote. Yeah, yeah, we don't yeah, not really. We don't really have nothing special, but yeah. Okay. Is there uh, is there any charitable work that you uh, that you support that you want to uh, that you want to tell the community about? Yes, if I can, I mean, if I can help out, if I can help out someone who really in need of a, in need of help, yes, I'll reach out. Okay. And you, have and, you done, have you doing help. that at all lately? Have you helped out lately? Um. And to be honest, um, no. Okay. Okay. But I never, you're, but you're, I but never you're... see any. I never run into anyone who. Okay. That's fair. Need need of a need of any hand or anything. Okay, that's good. We've been with Sabian McDonald, owner of MC Homes and Renovations. Thank you so much, sir. Okay, you're welcome. Have a good day. You too. What's your email, Sabian? I'll send you a copy of the report. Um, MC Homes at at mail dot ca. Hey, thank you, sir. Okay. I know. Okay. Okay. Bye.